Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm here to help you make your jewelry for the Saint Valentine's Day and also your presents. Here I'm showing you how to make this cute little herringbone stitch hearts and I'm putting here a teardrop crystal. If you like what I'm showing you here, consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. This one I'm showing really slowly and easy and step by step, so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 OC beads, pink and silver. Here I'm using teardrop crystals. These are earring findings, liver back in silver colors. You could use other earring findings of your choice. And by the way, down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, Facebook and Instagram pages to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, so here I have monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads and to squeeze my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm starting my work with the familiar Herring bone stitch. If you don't know it, it's really easy and I'm showing it now step by step. Okay, so here I have four pink beads. I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I make it by make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made and I'm going to make one more knot. Okay. Now I have these four beads next to each other and what I'm going to do is go through two of them in this direction and I'm going to take two more seed beads, K2, okay, and I'm going here through the first of those two pinks like this, fix it like this and then through the neighbor one and through the newly added bead. Okay. Then again, I'm taking two, go back in this direction and go back through the neighbor one and through the, the one that I just added in the other direction. Now I have one, two, three, four rows of herringbone stitch and I want to have seven, okay? That is why I'm taking two more, going backwards. And I need two more rows added in the same manner. Okay, and now what I want to do here is change the direction of my herringbone stitch. Okay, I will continue in this direction. And how I do this, I take two pink beads and I will go backwards through these two beads. Okay, just like this. Then I'm going through this one here. And from here on, it is the same thing. Now I'm going to take two more. I go back like this. Fix it. Now I will go in the other direction, but it's easier for me to turn my work like this at first. Turn your work the way it's easier for you. Then I pull 
and I have this. Then I'm going to repeat this. If you want, you could go backwards through all of the beads, reinforcing your work at this stage. Okay, and I want to make two more rows in this direction. Okay, and now these two shoulders here are the same, if you could say this. And now what I want to do is exit out of this inner bead, but I want to exit from the center in this direction. Okay, and how I do this, I just go like this and then through this one diagonally. Okay, and since my thread is clear, nothing is visible. If your not, thread is not that clear as mine, uh, you could do this the back if the thread shows somewhere. Okay, and now I'm going to take 12 beads. Okay. I have my 12 here on my needle. And as I'm exiting from this bead, I'm going in the same place here. And just like this and this will be the top part of my heart of my beaded heart okay now as I'm exiting from this pin bead I want to go here in this direction just like this okay now don't pay attention to this tail thread, we'll cut it later. Okay, and now I'm taking two beads and I'm going through just one bead in this row, okay? And through the following. So if I could say I pair this one with two more beads, okay then I go the same way. It's like a regular herringbone, but because I want to make this curve here, you see, this curve of the heart, I'm adding two beads at each bead of the inner row. Okay, then I take two beads and I go through the following one, like this. needs a little bit more of fixing. Then I will go one more time through all of those to straighten them a little bit. Okay. Now you see how the curve works in this direction. Then I'm going to repeat this one more time. Okay, so here to make the curve, I added two beads to each one of these three beads. And now I'm going to add one by one the next beads. Okay, I'm taking one. I go through this one here the same way and through the following. Then I go backwards. And I will repeat the same thing, which is like a regular herringbone. Just add one, go here, it is the regular herringbone, and then backwards here. 
And now, guys, I want to form this inner part of my heart. And how I'm doing it, I go through these two beads like this. I'm exiting out of this one, going through these two. And what I need to add are three more pink beads. And I'm going backwards through these two pinks. Okay. And I want to turn those to the center of my work. Now here, guys, I have one, two, three, four, five beads until I reach this part. And I'm going to do the other thing around of what I did from this side. First, I'm going to add two single herringbone stitches. So I take one, go like this. Then I take one more. and go like this and here i'm going to add three double herringbone stitches like i did from this side so i take two and i could go through all of those in this direction to reinforce them then go backwards and through the following. Then I'm going to take two more. And I go like this. Then backwards. And don't worry that it looks like this here. We'll go back and fix it later. Okay, I take two. These are the last two beads here. Go backwards. And then I go back like this. And I go back like this. Okay, now I prefer to flip I will go in this direction to fix this row because it doesn't look very straight, but I want to straighten it up. Okay. Then I go here. And in order to make the same line like I did here, I will go here through those beads. And I'm going to pull tight, really tight. Okay. Then off camera, I will go back and I will fix this curve one more time to make it look in a straight line and I'll be back. Okay, guys. And you see when I went around one more time through all of those beads, how they straighten up. Now I'm exiting through this one that is next here to these two that are going down okay and what i need to do is take two seed beads then i'm going to take my earring finding and i'm going to take two more silver seed beads okay this is what i have and now what i want to do is go backwards through those beads like this And in this way, I'm attaching my earring finding. And I'm going again like this. Because I want to reinforce my work. Okay. Now, guys, what I want to do is go back in this direction through all of those beads. Okay, and off camera, I will reach here and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I went around 
and now I'm exiting here and my goal is to exit here through this bit that is sticking out the most okay and now from here on I will show you how to attach your teardrop crystal okay I need four silver beads okay four then I'm taking one of my crystals sliding it down okay and what I need to add here are three pink beads slide those down skip them and go backwards through all of those beads okay then what i need to do is take one more bead and go back like this then i could reinforce this by going around one more time but if you want it to dangle you could skip this step and after that guys what i want to do is go somewhere in this direction and find a place to make a knot since my thread is transparent i could do it everywhere oh it's too tight to go here because I've been through many times through it so I'll make it here I'm making a loop and I'm going once and twice through the loop I've made and I pull then I will choose a direction to go where it is possible I will go through the following seed bead and then I will cut my thread Okay guys, so now my herringbone stitch hearts earrings are ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way you help me so much. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is and how happy I am when I see your comments in the description. And down there you will see a full list of materials, Facebook page and Instagram pages to share pictures of your creations that you did following me. Link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.